All right, y'all. You see what I got? I got the Kronos XTR 2022 out. Whew, I'm winded for some reason. Anyway, y'all, I dropped down to a 15.2 so I could try to run no fans possible. Um, it is 82 degrees or 83 degrees today here in Florida. Right shiny Florida with all the damn tourists. Anywho, I got her fixed. It's a pretty simple fix. I went over the car. I fixed the body a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work. Hopefully, I don't have to take it off. Uh, other than that, we good. If anybody knows about these linking the GoPros to an iPhone, I got a, a 10 GoPro, and I'm linking it to the new iPhone. I used to not have a problem when I was using the GoPro 8, but now with the 10, sometimes I have a display on my screen, and sometimes it says preview not available. If anybody knows what that's all about, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm not very good when it comes to cameras and computer shit. It's just not my thing. I'm a labor hard working freakazoid nutcase RC bashing flipper dipper ripper and let's rip tater chip pop up. Well, it seems like it's got enough power with a 15. I, mean, I know it's only one tooth y'all but One tooth will make a big difference in this kind of heat. I can't, you know, I could probably go down to a 14 or even a third. I can't even pull the trigger. That's half throttle. If I squeeze the trigger, it'll flip over and do backflips and dancing and you don't want to kiss me. Look at that shit. Wow. Oh, baby. Just love this car, man. Almost screwed up, didn't I? Yeah, this is definitely something I would marry multiple times over and over again. I think it would definitely do some crazy flipping if I wanted to. Yeah, that shrapnel all over the place. Y'all see that rubber tire on the ground with the foam? The foam, 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 foam. I've been trying to get my wife to come out here and be my photographer, or whatever you want to call him. But she's scared I hit her. She's probably right, because how many times I hit myself a week? Look at that! I. Don't know what's going on with that jump. Oh, I see what's going on. There's a big old hole in the front of that jump shooting me up like Superman. Oh, digging her. Oh, I'm gonna start naming my, look at that hole. <laughs> I'm gonna start naming my rigs after lunch meat, y'all. <laughs> This one's going to be either bologna or salami. I haven't figured that out yet. How about we call her bologna? I was always called bologna when I was a kid. That was not good. We got damages, y'all. Look pretty serious. Something I ain't fixing today. Man, shock standoff and a drive shaft. And I have no more drive shafts. I need drive shafts, y'all. I am running the CVDs in the rear. I might still have the dog bones that I can put back in that for, for now. I just don't think they're gonna last. They look smaller than the front, diameter wise. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm just blown for words. Oh, baloney's down. Y'all, baloney's down. I wanna go get salami and I'll be right back. Peace. Hi, y'all. Got her back up and running. It was a little bit more excessive than what I thought. The shock standoff, bent axle. I just straightened that one out. Ball cup, fix that. Battery strap, so I just take the whole battery box out. Lucky enough, I had a bag of brand new Spectrum. 
lipo straps. All right, let's try this again. No car would have took a hit like that last one did and come out and scaped. And if it did come out and scaped, you would have some stretched out ball cups and some shit. He's got to try to land on all fours and these cars will last forever. You land cockeyed or whatever, man, you kind of have problems. I don't care who you are. Yeah, I think it's time for some track maintenance, y'all. <laughs> that wasn't real epic. Get up on the king of the hill. I'm gonna do a backflip right off the top. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all want to know a little bit about me? I do come from a very big circus family. My grandparents were brought over from Italy back in the 50s, I believe. From John Ringling for the 40s. I don't even know, man, to be honest with you. This is a long ass time ago. You can look that shit up if you want. If I'm not mistaken, it was either my grandmother or grandfather from Torino. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Y'all remember that? Mr. Rogers? My favorite was the Jetsons. I be Leroy. <laughs> wind, the wind was getting me on that one, y'all. <clears throat> I had a few people ask me to do some build videos. I have to work on that, y'all. But to be honest with you, when I build a rig, it's wide open until it's done. And I have real bad ADHD, so I get sidetracked real easy. I'll give it a go, though. This might be kind of lame. I wish... She over here. Man, I wish I could... I wish I could... Get this thing going faster before it pulled the front end up. Oh, don't start that crap. Oh, I did smoke a Castle ESC this morning on my Typhon, y'all. It was doing the same crap, but just shut off out of nowhere. So I went through the settings to redo the settings and update the profile, whatever you want to call it, the settings on the thing to give it an update. And while it was taking it, it smoked it. I've never seen no shit like that before. <sighs> yeah, she's toasty. Always laughing at me. Whew. I think this takes my breath away every time. Come on, girl, give me a good one. Whoa! Get <laughs> the wing off. All right, gear down a little more, I think. Go get your wing, baloney. She's 
Snoop, she flies pretty good with no wings. Lucky she stopped or I was going for it. Might as well bust it up more. I don't have a spare arm. Oh, it's not an arm. Oh, I'm trash. Oh, it is an arm. I have a spare arm, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I think I got enough for this thing for y'all today. Took a beating. What do y'all say? Leave in the comments below if you think she took a flogging, like RC Dude 81 says. All right, let me get up to the house and I'll give you a little overview. All right, y'all, I made it back. Poof, that was an expensive run. Check that Lyco out. Pretty nasty, huh? Yeah. It'll, it'll go down. Put a little duct tape on it. Anywho, uh, I did break an arm, broke an arm, broke another shock standoff, which now that I know that the low seat shock standoffs will work, that's what I put on the back, and it worked out pretty good, so that'll work. I've got plenty of those. Broke another steering link. That could have been my fault, because I replaced that this morning, and I might have screwed it in too far before I backed it out, and I think I should screw that up. Either way, I've got arms. I don't think I have any broken hinge pins or hinge pin holders. Chassis still straight. Everything else looks pretty good, y'all. Bring, 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 bring. Baloney held in there pretty good for the flogging I gave her. Nope. RC Dude 81, don't get mad at me calling it a flogging. I just thought that was some cool slang there. Hey, might be a little too tight. Either way, oh, don't do this, you guys always run your cover i just forgot to put it back on for some reason you have a wire that falls down in there it's over man unnecessary maintenance and you know money all the shafts are still straight my straight one in the back still straight i'm gonna quit rambling i'm gonna go run the xl and then i'm gonna run my outcast 6s all right y'all thanks for watching please like subscribe share please leave me a comment and more than half of y'all that are watching my stuff aren't even subscribing y'all gotta hit that sub button i get to 500 i'll do something special for y'all all right y'all talk to you later peace Hey y'all, one more quick little thing. The Kronos is going to be down for a week or two. I have some other projects I'm working on I want to get wrapped up. But like I do with all my rigs after three or four hard bashes like I just did, I tear them completely apart and literally I clean everything, make sure everything's nice and tight, lubed right. If there's anything that needs to be fixed, I fix it. I don't usually wait for the parts to break. I try to fix them beforehand. That has nothing to do with Corrali or anything. I just do that with all my cars. It helps out a lot. I'm getting to the point now where I'm just changing parts constantly more than I'm driving it and I don't want to... I don't want to go that route. Armas do the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm talking about you. They do the exact same thing. Anyway, y'all, we're going to go rip the XL. Peace.